Ari Spence is rogue lawyer to be turned actor, writer, barista, and dog trainer. Ari's honored to tell you the bastard's tale tonight. Please welcome to the porch, Miss Ari Spence. <laughs> I was born to be my family savior. Patience is a virtue. <laughs> I was born to be my family's savior, which is ironic considering it was the exact opposite of an immaculate conception. I was conceived during drunken post-breakup hate sex in a concert hall bathroom. <laughs> Shocking, I know. <laughs> Further irony is that my mother wants me baptized at the Immaculate Conception Church in Stony Point. <laughs> the Monsignor gave her a rough time about that one. Not because of the whole bathroom sex thing, but mostly because of the premarital sing sex single mother thing, but I'm pretty sure if he knew about the bathroom sex thing, wouldn't have helped her case. <laughs> but how could I be the savior of my family if I couldn't even get baptized in the Catholic Church? Didn't he know who I was born to be, who I was meant to be? Ariana T. Soto, savior of the Perno family, crusader of the avengers of the wrongs committed by the family Sotos. From as long as I could remember, I was always told what I should be, never what I could be. So, first up on the docket was doctor. Everybody likes doctors, doctors are good. I'm specifically a hematologist, fancy word for a blood doctor. Makes sense considering I myself have sickle cell anemia. That worked up until I was eight and I found out that I hate the sight of other people's blood and I can't do math. <laughs> so next up was, I want to build motorcycles. <sighs> eh, wrong answer. Actor? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> so bounced around a few ideas and then we hit the jackpot. Lawyer. Ariana T. Soto's Esquire, that's a pretty shiny name. I would argue Ari Spence is better, but I will get there in a few years. So my whole life became dedicated to cultivating lawyer Ariana, who would save the family from poverty, from death eventually. I would do everything. So I walked on until I got to college, my ride into Jerusalem, where everyone's like, yes, here she comes, Ariana, the soon-to-be lawyer. She just has to get there. And all was great until I hit senior year. My guest sent me, and I realized, oh boy, do you have to give up a lot to be a lawyer. No more fun hairstyles, no more crazy makeup, hide your tattoos, no cut jeans, always wear a three inch heel, no skirt above the knee, everything that I didn't want to be. So senior year, I wrestled. Two tabs open, Pace Law School, Pace acting, back and forth, back and forth. Do I sacrifice myself to save a family who gave me everything? Ultimately, I decided you should sacrifice yourself to save the ones who love you. Three years, three long years, my ride onto Calvary until we get there. Third year, and there I stand waiting for my crucifixion, the bar exam. <laughs> fortunately or unfortunately, whichever side of the coin you decide to look at, for the fifth time in a year, my mother was hospitalized in May of my third year of law school. Stage four lung cancer, it's a killer. And as she lay dying, I faced a choice. Do I keep a part of me alive so she can live on in me? Or do I save myself? Back and forth, back and forth. And as she lay on her deathbed, I whispered in her ear, I promise you, I may not be a lawyer, but one day I will perform a concert with the boss. And with that, not only did I let her go, off went Ariana T. Soto, Esquire. People are going to want you to sacrifice a lot. 
They might even want you to sacrifice yourself. You're gonna face a choice. Do you stretch out your arms and break your back to save others or do you save yourself? At the end of the day, the only person that can save me is me. Mm -hmm.